These women are traditionalists. Some of them belong to an organization called Women Who Want to Be Women. They have recently begun to score more and more political points with rhetoric centered on belief in God, country, and motherhood. These women are feminists and are associated with the Women's Center of Dallas. They say they believe in equality of the sexes and concentrate on issues like abortion, divorce rights, and the plight of the battered wife. More and more, they have come under criticism from traditionalists. We do not think the public realize that this is a very negative group whose philosophies are alien to those of our country. They are anti-God, anti-family, really anti-men when you really get down to it. They are out to destroy the family, and to have a healthy society, you have to have healthy families. Earlier this week, Ms. Shea and other traditionalists won out over various feminist groups when the Dallas City Council refused to allocate $25,000 in federal money for programs aimed at helping battered wives and displaced homemakers. The loss left many Dallas feminists angry and perplexed. I think they are appearing to win skirmishes on minor issues. But I think that will not set back the ultimate progress that feminists are going to make. I think that their response and the shrillness of their response has to do with the fact that they are very frightened. Because when one begins thinking about the oppression of women and how women are won down in relationships with men, one must then begin thinking of making changes in one's life. And that's a very threatening thought to a traditionalist. Traditionalists agree that they feel threatened. Threatened so much, in fact, that they say they're willing to take time out from their families to become more visible, more militant, in order to capture the support of more women, and especially more men, who both sides agree still call the shots. Kay Vinson, Channel 8 News.